really want to be in front here tomorrow. Should I, say. Um, I know. I, I, I am. I, I am really uh, of two minds because I would like to go and be with you and do the service down there. But then I know if anyone's joining us by streaming, they won't be able to hear me. So if Beth Jarvis or others, if there's no one on the stream, let me know because then I will just go and be with the rest of you, probably with the mask. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Let's do a short service. Who wants to bring in Shabbat with me? Nobody? Okay, forget about Shabbat. We'll wait till next week. Maybe you need an extra long service to get in the mood. I'll tell you what, I have an idea. For anybody who is below the age of 13, especially below the age of 10. And I'm an adult. Yeah, sorry. So we just Thanks everyone online. So um, these are adult readings from the CEDOR. So the English I know is not super easy. You're allowed to have help. You don't have to do it at all. But for the one that ha is back there, and, and I'm gonna invite all children to join some of the groups, even if they're not reading. But if you if you come to the BIMA, which is not always the easiest thing to do, you will get a trip to the treasure chest. The treasure chest is, it, it, you know, it is derived from the great biblical book of the dentist office, where okay, um, great wisdom can be found in the in in the in the in the departing. Please pay your bill here, chamber of the dentist office, um, where often children will get to visit a treasure chest. So I copied it from that profound spiritual tradition of capitalism, and so and uh, I will invent an adult treasure chest as well. Let's do a beautiful quick service. We're going to start on chapter, uh, chapter page 13, and let's do a fast Shalom Aleichem, because it'll speed us along. Page 13. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Shari, Malachi Hel Yahon, Mimelech, Malachi Hamlachim, Akadosh Baruch Hu, Boachem, Vishalom, Malachi Hashalom, Malachi. El Yahoni Melech Malachi Hamachim Hakadosh Baruchu Baruchu Nila Shalom Malachi Shalom Malachi El Yahoni Melech Malachi Hamachim Hakadosh Baruchu Zedchem Le Shalom Malachi Hashalom Malachi El Yahoni Melech Malachi Hamachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Let's welcome in those extra spirits on Shabbat. Remember to be more open on Shabbat, meet new people, make new friends, invite in feelings and emotions that maybe we're closed off to during the week. As we continue in our journey, well, on page 15 for Lachuna Ranana, the Shabbat, you know, I asked someone in the social hall, uh, I said, how are you doing? And they said, I feel like I'm the luckiest woman alive. And I said to them, I think that is a very, very profound prayer. 
And so I will quote that as saying that we are at the psalm of gratitude. Let us open our mouths with words of just feeling incredibly lucky for the blessings of this world. And join with me. We head down to the bottom of the page. We're like sheep in a herd, and God is our shepherd, which means we get a lot of freedom just to live in peace and be with each other. But we also have direction, and we get to the bottom of the psalm where the little box is, and God breaks in and interrupts the poet every week and interrupts the poet of the psalm and says, 40 years, your ancestors who were so close with me in my spirit chased me away with their ingratitude by complaining. And it reminds us, may we make a little promise to ourselves for the next 27 hours, 26 hours, that for this Shabbat, let's not find the world fall short. Let's not find it too rainy or too humid or too anything. Let's just be incredibly grateful for whatever comes our way. And that is the beautiful spirit of Shabbat. So let's take God's warning not to complain and chase away the Shekhinah. Please sing with me. Arbaim shana akut bedor vaomar amtu elevavheim vaheim lo yadu deracha sher nishpati v'yapihi I told you I'd make it short, so we are racing through the Kabbalah Shabbat Psalms. And what they say is that there's a song of music all around us. It's the song of your heartbeat, Charles. It's the song of your heartbeat, Charles. It's the song of our breathing. It's the song of, every, of the trees moving in the wind. The psalmist sees everything as a music that is heard by God as music. As Rebbe Nachman said, you really know if you've done the Kabbalah Shabbat sermon right, service right, if you hear the grass singing. I know it sounds like a great challenge, but I believe it's literal. And so how do we join in with the song, feel a part of the song, feel the harmony and beauty of the music around us? And may we, as the psalm says, add our own instrument into it. Could be our lyre or our guitar or our own voice or our shofar. Let us add in our own piece in the great music and symphony of nature and the cosmos May we find our place in that for the Shabbat. And that will take us all the way to page 21 for Lechadodi. And let's do a few verses beginning and end. Lechadodi lihi krakahala pene Shabbat ne kabelaha shamur vizachur bedi borecha harishmianu el hamilchad adon hayechadu shemo echad l'shem otiferet Everybody.
with the Christians on this call. They have the same faith. They don't have the same comfort yet. But we have finished the Father's work. Jesus will also do. And so we can trust that he will do that. This doesn't really take us to page 28, but I am taking us to page 28. Um, and so I'm going to ask everyone to rise for the beginning of the Marif service. By the way, you're off to the second line, so I expect uh, I can expect to expect participation. For who and Adonai Hamevora. In my opinion, you all achieved greatness. So I'm not that those. Baruch atadon adon himalach alam asher bivaro marivara vihim. The world is created with an incredible structure to it, a chokma, a a a underlying order to the entire universe. Thank God that we can relate to it, understand it, be inquisitive and curious. Um, and gain wisdom through our relationship with it. Baruch Adonai Hamari Varavim. On page 29, we continue preparing for the Shema. I'm going to ask anyone who is beneath the age of 15, if you want to join me for the Shema, that'll be on the next page. So I'm inviting you. It does qualify for a trip to the treasure chest, even if you're not reading English. Yeah. 
Pages, our environmental responsibilities, and how everything comes together in the blessings of holiness. We continue with uh, those pages to ourselves, 31, 32, and 30. Adonai, hello, Echem, and And we are in the middle, page 32. <speaking in Hebrew> Please read with me in English on page 33. May a protective shield, a sukkah, be spread over everyone who needs a night of rest, a night of peace, uh, away from thoughts of fear. Those who suffer from hunger, may they not feel those pangs. Those who are scared of enemies, they have to face tomorrow bullies, people who they're scared of, may they be spared those thoughts. May they feel fully protected tonight. So let's read in English. Help us, Adonai, to lie down in peace and awaken us again, our sovereign, to life. Spread over us your shelter of peace. Guide us with your good counsel. Save us because of your mercy. Shield us from enemies and pestilence, from starvation, sword, and sorrow. Remove the evil forces that surround us. Shelter us in the shadow of your wings, O God, who watches over us and delivers us, our gracious, merciful ruler. Guard our coming and our going. Grant us life and peace now and always. Spread over us the shelter of your peace. Praised are you, Adonai, spreads the shelter of peace over us, over all your people, Israel, and over Jerusalem. Page 34. I know that there's a sound that's coming and I believe it's coming from the equipment. It's not coming from my stomach. Um, so I'm gonna move over here a little bit.
you're right, I'm weighed down by this. If this falls off, you automatically win. Okay? Uh, so when so yeah, when you get to the word X, you'll hear it. Then you got it. Okay. And if my if my keep up falls off, it's also I, I lose. So you, so who, who, who's doing it with you? This is not, this, okay, you guys come up too. Okay, so we're about to enter the Amidah, and these are readings that come from the Amidah or the Blessing Act. Okay, Go, so which one are you doing? Are you doing um, one, two, and three, or? Okay, who, do we have anyone for one? Yeah, as you go ahead. Okay, so you know what I. You read the first one, I'll read the second, and you read the third. Or do you, read, or do you want to switch it? I'll read the third. I think you're switching it just because that would make you free. Yeah. Oh, guys, oh. you are a future synagogue yeah. committee. Yeah. <laughs> no, which is great. It means that you know how to make decisions. Um, I'm going to hold this out as your microphone. Is that okay? I'll just hold it. You don't have to. So, is anyone doing one? Um, I think I'll do the second. I'll do one. Okay, Ezra, you go for number one. And, and, and say nice and clearly because they don't know what you're reading. May it be your will, Adonai, my God, to open for me the gates of learning, love, and harmony, peace, and companionship. I will surely rejoice in Adonai. My whole being will exult in God. In, in, may God, may, may I know the joy of celebrating in Jerusalem, rejoicing with my people. And do we have anyone for number three? Back. Yeah, go ahead. May the one who who ordains peace for his universe, bring peace to us and to all the people Israel. And we say? Amen. Amen. Beautiful. Okay, next reading. Here, let's switch spots so we can. I can hold the microphone for the next person. Steven, you want to do your, your group's reading? Okay. Who's doing number one? Yes. You're on. And again, okay, let's, here, let's spread out so we can see, we can see who's reading, perfect. There, that would be great. And um, remember, they don't have it, but they may recognize it. Go ahead. My God, keep my tongue from evil, my lips from lies. Help me ignore those who would slander me. Let me be humble before all. Amen. Who's number two? Open my heart to your Torah that I may pursue your mitzvot. Frustrate the designs of those who plot evil against me. Make ache nothing of their schemes. Amen. Act for the sake of your companion, of your compassion, your power, your holiness, and your Torah. Answer my prayer for the deliverance of your feet. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you, my rock and my redeemer. May the one who brings peace to his universe bring peace to us and all to the people Israel. Amen. And let us say? Amen. Nicely done. And we have one more set of readings. Okay. Come on up. By the way, you guys can read even if you're not this good. Like, I mean, in other words, you don't have to be. We've had some very skilled readers, but we don't need, don't, don't worry if you're not that way. 
Grant universal peace with happiness and blessing, grace, love, and mercy for us and all the people for all the people of Israel. Bless us, our Creator, one and all, with your light. Eight, for you have given us by that light the guide of a life of caring, filled with generosity and contentment, kindness and well-being and peace. May it please you to bless your people Israel in every season and at all times with your gift of peace. Praised are you, Adonai, who blesses his people Israel with peace. Can we say? Amen. You guys are amazing. Thank you. And you, you pushed us along because that was the introduction to the Amida. Those blessings come from the end of it and parts of it. And you did so well. So I'm going to ask everyone to stand. The Amida is entirely silent. We won't be doing a partial repetition tonight. And after the Katsu Kadesh, which is on page um, 34, head directly into the sound of prayer. And I hope that some part of what you've heard out of these mouths is resonating with you for your own personal security. Yikada <laughs> Thirty-five B to thirty-eight silently, or closing your eyes and having the prayer that you should be filling your spirit with tonight. Shalom <laughs> Yahasa Shalom, Yahasa Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, Yaakov Yisrael. Page 51, Aleinu, please rise. Aleinu l'shabeach Adonu Adonu, Adonu
We may be seated, except for those who are reciting the Mourner's Kaddish on this night. As Beth Israel remembers the yard sites of Matthias Berman, Beverly Blacker, Rose Carpenter, Jack Cooper, Kalman Danziger, Jules Donison, Samuel Fagman, George Feldman, Pearl Franzblau, Miriam Gar Garville, Ruth Gideon, Alex Gitlin, Samuel Golden, Edward Goldman, Gloria Kelman, Herbert Kirsch, Morris Kleiman, Sherman Kramer, Moshe Levy, Joseph Lightman, Yetta Leon, Helen Menon, Jacob Monto, Rona Moscow, Elaine Perlman, Charles Platt, father of Jeffrey Platt, Zelik Morton Rappaport, Maurice Reisman, Gisela Singer, Sanford Weiss, Harry Werbel, and Sanford Winnick. As we continue to say Kaddish for Elaine Stoller, Natalie Scher, Susan Feingold Schultz, Judith Cashton, and Lorraine Sherman, Michael Adams, Leona Leon, Phyllis Werbel, Benjamin Lesson, Carol Feinerman, David Falman, Bruce Stahl, Carol Amster, and Gary Joseph Ullman, Paul Ernest Phyllis, Leslie Garber Matthews, Alan Fisherman, Raisa Levinskaya, Alice Cohen, Toby Barbin Rothhaus, Vivian Pearlstein, Rick Morgenstern, Marty Littenauer, and Bonnie Rosenberg, all of whom we remember with love. Is there anyone whose name I forgot that you'd like included at this time? Let's say Kaddish together. Yit Gadal, Bi Kaddash, Shemir Rabbah. Bi Alma, Divra, Pirute, Bi Amlich, Malchute. Bechayechon, of Yomechon, of a Chaye de Ho, Beit Israel, Baagala, of his man Kari, the Imru Ami, Yehe Shme Rabam, the Barach, the Lam Ulame on Maya, the Barach, the Ishtabach, the Paar, the Tromam, the Nase, the Tadar, the Tale, the Talal Shme de Kudisha, Brihu, the Elam in Kobir Hatav, Shirata, Tushpahata, the Nechamata. Da Amiran be Alma, the Imru, Amen. The He Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, the Chayim Alenu, the Alko Yisrael, the Imru, Amen. O Seshalom bin Rama, Uya Seshalom, Alenu, the Alko Yisrael, the Imru, Amen. Remember them with love. For all the children who are here, anyone beneath the age of, uh, I'll say 13 or under 13, I hope that someday you will be remembering people that you love who are no longer with us in body by saying the Kaddish yourselves. So I hope you're listening and watching other people saying Kaddish and you know that someday it'll be your turn um, to use a beautiful prayer as an act of love. It's time for the end of the service. I'm so grateful for your rapt attention. I'm gonna share a couple of super brief announcements, which it are that um, I'm gonna let you know that Ron and Lonnie Sussman, we celebrated them during Pesach with the special Shabbat, but we didn't get to feed them on that day. So tomorrow is the makeup. And so it's Ron and Lonnie's, they've had a, a couple of birthdays in the past uh, two weeks. And so we will be eating tomorrow and celebrating them. And, uh, and next week on Saturday, if any of you have had the fortune to count Michelle Israel as your friend, who has been the long time over 20 year bookkeeper, um, finance person at the synagogue. I consider myself in that category of a friendship. Um, we will celebrate her next week at Shabbat. I want to also uh, let you know that um, I'm looking, Tat Shabbat will continue through the summer. Our next Tat Shabbat is July 9th. After that, July 16th. And after that, August 6th, and then August 20th. We often don't go through the summer, but not only have we had such tremendous children, but we've also had some really amazing touch about leaders, um, some of whom are maybe still in the category of in between child and adult. And we like, it makes all the difference. I mean, you know, they're prayers, but then they're the people who say them. And sometimes the people are as important as the prayer itself. So I want to I want to honor the beautiful spirit and the rough that's been brought. And I hope those who know people will um, help attend because it's been going strong through the summer. Green team and social action are meeting, um, and also on Friday, July fifteenth, I want to know that there'll be a musical Shabbat with Rabbi Ora Huvia. I've changed the name from musical Shabbat because we're going to have a lot of musical Shabbats. It's going to be called the Aura of Shabbat because her name is Aura. It's incredibly clever. I came up with it, and. Um, <laughs> 
there will be many other Shabbats coming up, Shabbat in the park, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You're going to read all your email and get excited. So that's an, um, that goes there. Let's finish with Adon Olam. And uh, will children come up? And as soon as Adon Olam is done and we finish strong, I know that these may be age inappropriate. In other words, these are just a little something. So they may not, but um, you can pick one thing from the treasure chest. You can return the thing you picked after five minutes if you change your mind. Um, but please pick something and make room for others to pick. And so we'll do that at the end of Adon Lam. Let's finish service, page 54. Adon Olam, Asher Ma'af, B'terem Ko. Yes, come on up. Let's skip to the last verse. Let's finish strong. So let's let younger kids go first. So whoever's the youngest. If none of these options appeal to you, you may have a few things in my office and maybe so feel free to take one thing from the chest. Wait, how old are you? I'm 10.
Thank <laughs> you. 